Dan here and welcome back to another video where today we are back playing Riddle School. Well, actually, it's called Riddle Transfer this time because Riddle School 5, if you haven't seen it, go and check it out in the description below. Absolutely amazing game, but this is technically Riddle School 6, but it's called Riddle School Transfer, so I am ready to play this. I'm sure you guys are excited too, so here we go. Riddle transfer with the really awesome music that we all know and love now oh geez right let's see what the faces are very very sinister looking a little bit confused i <laughs> don't even know what that's about <laughs> and then this guy and he doesn't even want to talk to us get out so let's just play this game shall we i'm so excited i'm kind of sad but kind of excited at the same time excited to play the game but sad because i know this is the last one <laughs> Here we go. I'm sure this is going to be absolutely immense, epic, and awesome. Here we go. Okay, so this is leading off from on the way home. Diz, the stereotypical alien. How you doing, buddy? Um, oh, he <laughs> he's got fire on his head still. And he's got a little bit of hair on there that's not going to be lasting long, is it? <laughs> so this looks like it's starting straight at the end of Riddle School 5, which is really awesome. So let's see what, what goes down. Well... Now that your world is saved and our sadistic leader Viz has gone from the universe, what do you all plan to accomplish when you return to your life on Earth? I have no idea. Zack, the human fireplace now. <laughs> He's not the human icicle anymore. Um, what are you going to say, Zack, huh? Uh, personally, I plan to find a cure for this fever I developed. Okay, that's fine. You could probably just put a wet towel on your head or something, to be honest. Drinking a couple thousand gallons of ice water might help a little. You might go all the way back. Smiley, eager scholar. So it's kind of reintroducing the characters to us just in case we forgot. Uh, I'll continue my search for knowledge and use what I know to help others. Okay. Reading an encyclopedia might be fun. Might be. Might be. Here's Fred, our little helping hand buddy here. I haven't really thought about what I'll do when I get back. I guess what I'll do when I get back is thinking of what I'll do when I get back. That's deep, Fred. That's deep. Okay, Phil, the stalwart leader. That's us. That's us right there. What are we going to say? Something stupid, probably. As for me, I'm going back to school. Is that... Oh, jeez. What happened? What's going on? Why are we stopped, huh? Why are we stopped? Something is controlling the ship. That's interesting. Uh, are we being taken in by the FBI? I think we might be. It's taken us off course. Oh, geez, this is bad. This is really bad. Are we going to an alien school now? Because I'm not sure how I feel about that, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know if I want to deal with any more aliens, apart from this guy who's saving us, of course. Oh, no, this is bad. This is bad. I still like the spaceship. We're definitely being dragged in by something. Oh. Oh. Menacing music. Zone 5.1. Yep, we've been dragged into the government, haven't we? Here we go. Here come the government. Oh, no. What are we going to do? Come on, use your flame powers for something, please. Look how immense this is. Remember the first riddle school? And now think about how awesome this one is. Look at them. They're coming in with their guns and stuff. Don't be sad. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, no. Oh, they've arrested us. What? Why would you arrest us? We haven't done anything. And they put someone in bars. Oh, they put him. Is it all about him again? Because he's like a flame guy? We have to... Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> We're stuck again. Well, I was hoping for a new beginning. Same. Not gonna lie. Same. Well, I just didn't think it would look like this. <laughs> That's fair. Okay, so... We have been captured by the FBI or something. Something bad. Riddle transfer. I thought, honestly, we was gonna be in like a transfer school, but... Here we are. Welcome. Can I throw a monkey at you? No, please don't. Phil Eggtree, IFO landing. Okay. Identified foreign objects, maybe. TV screen. What does this say? 78255. So that's the code. We're already doing pretty good. Seven. Can I reach it? I can't even reach it. Can I reach it? Reach it, Phil. Reach it. We need something to reach that with. Let's go for the mirror. To be safe, I'm going to make sure I don't even touch that mirror. Seven years of bad luck won't go bad. That's good. That's good. That's fair. Another vent. Do you reckon we can go into that? This vent has nothing in it. Preposterous. Usually there's a roll of toilet paper or a rubber band or something. Exactly. Like what? Sink. Ever since the glorious invention of the hand sanitizer, I've rarely used sinks. Uh, pillow? An uncomfortable pillow. Okay, that's fine. Exquisite bedding. Nope. What about the toilet bowl? I don't think this toilet has been flushed in a while. Ew. Ew. Monkey poster. A poster that says, can I throw a monkey at you? Sure. As long as it means the monkey doesn't throw anything at me. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, we can't really click anything else, can we? Uh, I'd really love to just warts out the room. It's just there's kind of a thick wall of glass and a heavy security locked door in my way. 
Yeah, um, we can't reach. I guess we need something to poke it with. I can't see the label above from here, therefore I don't know it exists. Apart from this, 78255. Um, it's a flusher. Ah, things. Okay, we're in the toilet. This looks gross. And why does this look like a, an insect? We need something to poke things with. Things. I can't tell if they're doohickeys, doodads, or whatchamacallit. They're kind of all of them. Let's take this. I'm going to steal this from the can because I can. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> can we take this as well? No, we can't. Right, let's get out of here. And now we should be able to press this with... The flusher handle. There we go. Press the buttons. Seven, two, five, six, six. Nothing. Okay, I need to remember what this is. What is it? Seven, eight, two, five, five. Where did I get the other one from? Seven, eight, two, five, five. Boom. Let's get out of here. That was way too easy. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get out of here. Okay, so we're in some kind of military base. I feel like I'm kind of playing like a Men in Black game or something. So our room is through here. Let's go in here. Lots of empty boxes. We've got nails and string. Very nice. A sticky note. A blank sticky note. I guess someone wanted to make sure they didn't forget something and forgot anyway. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything in any of these boxes, shall we? Uh... Oh, wait. Trick box. <laughs> it looks like there's nothing else in here. I don't think there is anyway. So let's leave. Let's go left. There's a calendar. Today is Zone 5.1 Guard Agent's annual day off. That was lucky. Okay. Everyone's gone. Fantastic. There's an elevator as well. But let's go and check this place first. Goatman. Uh, odd device. This thing says creature communicator on the side. Can we talk to this goat? I want to talk to this goat. Hey, goat guy. Bah. Uh, maybe we could use this. Let's see if we can use it. Here we go. Hey, goat guy. Hello. What's up? <laughs> I'm gonna ask you something. Oh my goodness. Why is there a man in end of your name? How are you today? If it's not too personal, where do you do your business? I don't really want to know that, to be honest. I don't want to know where this goat poops. What's the random pipe looking thing on the ceiling? Why do you have a smoke detector? Do you have a brother named Billy or talk to you later? Let's do the first one. No idea, really. I'm just a goat. I was having the time of my life eating grass and strange mushrooms, and I was taken away, mistaken for a mythical creature. So you were kidnapped? I hate puns. <laughs> How are you today? I am sad. Grass is my favorite thing to eat in the whole world, but this grass tastes so bland. It isn't anything like the grass I used to eat. It's enough grass to last a lifetime, but what's the point if it doesn't taste like grass? You've just said grass five times. Anyway, I can't really relate to your problem. <laughs> I think that tube must be connected to another part of the building. That or it's just substanceless, I can't even say that, cylindrical object protruding from the ceiling. That was way too many words for me. Right, let's go into a different level. Let's go to the... Let's go to floor one. Nothing happened. What about basement? I think... I... Oh, we need a key? Okay, we need a key. Um... Oh, dear. Ah, uh, look, these pages lift up. Is there anything underneath? Yes, elevator key. Thank you very much. That's what I'm talking about. Awesome. We need to remember to click absolutely everything in this. So, right, elevator key. There we go. Let's go to floor one. Let's do this. Let's get out of here. Well, let's get down because we're on floor two, I think. Who is going to be? Oh, it all looks the same. Who's in here? Hey, Phil. Smiley, no. Smiley Sunday. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, hey, Smiley. You look different. Um, You've got hair. You've got hair. That's pretty surprising. I'm guessing you want to ask about my hair. Well, yes, seeing as you didn't have any hair yesterday. So why do you have hair? It's not like there's much to do when you're stuck in a little prison cell. So I use the kind of hairspray that's there to pass the time. I'll admit, I'm a little bit nervous about what people will think of me now I have hair. I'm no fashion expert, but I think it looks nice. It definitely does. You're welcome. But more importantly, we still need to get out of this place. If you need anything from me, I guess I'll be here. So... A can of the ability to spray liquid that magically makes your hair grow quickly. I can't comprehend how people are able to invent and distribute whimsical goods like this. Oh my, what does that say? Poo poster? Poo classic, caffeine free, what? Ugh. So there's a dial pad here as well on Smiley's room that has no three key. So I'm guessing we might need to find one of those. Uh, let's see if there's anything in here we need to use. Let's talk to Smiley real quick. Um, your prison cell looks a lot nicer than mine. It's brighter and mine didn't have a fancy mirror or a bathroom stall. Stalls are pretty typical in girls' restrooms. Wait, really? I've been missing out. We never went into a girls' restroom in Riddle School, so we, we tried, but we never got there. Do you know what the code of your door's dial pad is? 5133. Three, three. How did you know that? The agent who locked me in here mumbled the code out loud, so he dialed it in. Ah, oh, okay, so we definitely need to find... 
a thing. Oh, that's annoying. Let's talk another time. See you later. So we need to find a number three. Let's see if we can find one. Let's see what's in here. Um, I wasn't expecting that. Not gonna lie. Hello, sir. How are you? Good day. Meep. Okay, we need to use this communicator. <laughs> Talking to animals. Good day, sir. Salutations, young gentleman. Of what subject shall we speak of on this fine day? Are you fond of crumpets? Is he British? A British sloth thing? Oh my goodness. What should we ask this guy? How do you do? My apologies, but could you specify the nature of your inquiry? What is your mood at this particular moment? What are the emotions in the grand scheme of things? I'm afraid I cannot specify. Let's do this one. Uh, I am concerned about unlawful courtrooms and the government's capitalistic stance. The widening hole in the ozone layer frightens me, as well as the limited oil in the Earth's soil. I'm never gonna ask this. Stop talking. Stop talking right now. Um... What, why have you got a smoke detector? Surely, yes, the walls are almost completely coated with wooden vegetation. Oh, I was only wondering if it had any other purposes. I do use it as a dinner plate sometimes. Okay, I need to get out of here. Get away. Get away, he's freaking me out. His name is Big Toe. I wonder if there's a pinky toe too. She used to live in my forest, but I now think she's the one of Santa's elves. <laughs> That's awesome. Right, is there anything secret in here that I can click, please? Smoke detector. No, these smoke detectors are very, very suspicious, though. Okay, I'm gonna leave this guy alone because he scares me a little bit and go down this corridor. Oh, it's the Vizion ship. This is the only one who can fly this ship. I'll have to free him along with all my friends. Not that I wouldn't free him anyway, but he does have the remote that controls the ship, as well as the ability not to crash. These things make him kind of important. Well, that's true, I guess. Right, back to the elevator, oh, to number three, because we haven't been there yet. This is higher than the level we were on. Right, who's up here? Oh, jeez. What have they done to you? Why is there so many monkey dolls? Zach, what's wrong with you, buddy? How's going on? Meh. Um, how are you? Why are you strapped to a curtain pole? What are some facts about you I don't know? Do you know what the cell door key is? Uh, let's ask him that. The code has five digits. The digits are one, two, three, four, and five, but not necessarily in that order. The first digit plus the second digit is equal to the third digit. Oh, the first digit plus the second digit is equal to the third. So it could be one, two, three. That could work. The second digit is two times the first. Uh, yeah, one, two, three. The second digit is half the fourth digit. Yeah. I think it's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes! I did it! Yep, the code's just a simple rising set of consecutive numbers. Out of curiosity, how could you have known what the code was? It was written on the side of the door. Fantastic. Can you not get out there? Judging from the general emptiness of this room, I'd say these monkey dolls ate everything. True life. True life. Um, why are you strapped to a curtain pole? The guys who put me in here decided I was literally too hot for them to handle. Basically, I've been rendered helpless for safety reasons. Things must be really starting to heat up. I wonder if he's going to be like the the secret project for this episode too, because now he's like all fire instead of ice. What are some fun facts about him? My favorite color is red. I never tie my shoes. I hate playing dodgeball. Pigeons freak me out and I'm allergic to daisies. Just how allergic do you shake up, throw up, perk up, swell up, break up? I just sneeze. That could be important later down the line. It could be. Before I got tied to the ceiling, I sneezed once. My whole body burst into flames. Oh, geez, we need a flower. We definitely need to get him a flower. What's in here? Chlorophyll. We might need to get him some of that. Pin the tail on the dodecahedron. There's a fridge, bowls, chocolog cereal, a toaster. Um, let's see if we can find anything. There's a note here, actually. Let's go on here. Oh! That got me straight in the face. <laughs> What is going on? So I'm guessing I'm gonna need like a cup or something. Oh geez, what is going on here? Hardwood board. It's a door with no hinges, handles, or anything else you normally find on a door. It also doesn't open and no way to unlock it. Maybe it's not a door. That's really deep. Right, pig, let's talk to you. Oh geez, I forgot. I forgot, I forgot. Let's use this. Hey pig! Oh hello. Oh, there's so much to say. Do you think you can squeak through those bars? I've tried. And I'm too fat. <laughs> Oh, poor thing. It's probably because you got wings. It's not because you're too fat. Don't worry. So I need to talk to him later as well. I need a way to get the hardwood board off. But I think I think I really need a flower right now. So let's try B1 because we haven't been here yet. There's a door that's not finished. There's a card reader as well. Uh, so this is a door. Okay, let's see who's in here. 
Phil! Oh, Fred, how you doing, buddy? It's great to see you got out of wherever you were. I haven't had the same luck with finding a way out of this dump. Dump is right. You really got the shaft with this room. I really think the people who put us in here just took a bathroom and added an extra wall. Anyways, I'd really love to get out of here, but I can't do that by myself. So, I'll get you out. We can make it a team effort. Yep, since there's a lot I could do behind a wall of extremely dense glass. Don't be sarcastic. I'm trying to help you out of this. Right, so let's see if there's a code. There should be a dial pad here, but there's not. I wonder where it could be. Okay, the dial pad is literally missing. Fred, let's talk, buddy. Do you know what the code for your dial pad is? Snoz. What does that mean? I'm pretty sure the password is... Oh, it's snoz. But it can't be snoz. It's only numbers, really? I guess this paper I found was useless. I'm not joking, though. Here, maybe it means something to you. Snoz. Could it be two, zero... Five, I don't know. It's, it's got to be something. It's still snoz, though. I saw a kangaroo slay a dragon on the way here. I saw a rainbow rhinoceros using butterflies to take a vacation to the sun. Did you? Really? That's awesome. I saw a sentient daffodil that was allergic to itself and used its molten muscles to cook. Oh my goodness, please stop. Stop. <laughs> so he says nothing of worth, so I'm just going to click around a little bit and see if we can use anything from here. There's a mirror with the word mirror on it, but I don't know why that would be. A vent as well. It doesn't seem to be using... Why? Why have you eaten your bedding? I have no idea. At least he left the, the, the pillow by itself. So we need to find a lot of stuff here. The glue poster doesn't work. And we need to go up here. The negotiable snowman. There's also a smoke detector in here as well. Interesting. This is definitely something to do with, um, what's his name? With Zack because of his fire ability. Definitely. Right, let's talk to this guy, shall we? Hi there. <laughs> Hello. Uh, what kind of creature are you? My friends call me Yeti. I have no friends. Will you be my friend? Um, oh, jeez. Look at that face. Oh, that, that's scary. Okay, we'll be off it. We'll be your friend. Don't worry. Don't, just don't make that face again. Jeez. How are you today? I burn with the fury of 500 million suns. Uh, do you want to talk about it? Actually, no. I'm perfectly content. Can't complain. Um, okay. <laughs> you got an ice place here. Was that a pun? Yes. Yes, it was. <laughs> oh, man, that face. That face. So all of these don't really say much. This one kind of does look. I'm very sensitive about my bareness because he has no hair. Uh, well, there's nothing to be ashamed of. I don't have any hair myself. That's very, very true. And I'm a hero. Absolute hero. Well, that's a nice thing to say, but I don't need comfort. What I need is hair. Give, give him some hair. Sorry, I just don't have fond memories of when my hair was shaved off. I pay you a, a dice that I found in a board game box if you get me my hair back. Interesting trade. Which board game? It's called Learning to Shave. Terrible game. <laughs> what? I'm going to communicate with you later. Bye, snowman. You're very strange. Um, is that all we've got chance to do now? Is that all we can do? Oh, this bad. That's bad. Can we go to B2? Oh, we can. I, I thought that was blacked out for some reason. Let's, let's explore B2. Um, who's in here? Oh, hello. That's a very aggressive door. Sorry to intrude. Sorry, you're an intruder. If I was connected to an alarm system, I could end you right now. I don't mean to spread trouble. I'm actually trying to get out of it. Do you mind opening your mouth so I can enter the room you're guarding? Ha! Ah, my teeth could turn you into coleslaw before you get through me. I'm not the only one who would like to come in, though. I plan to bring all my friends here, too. Your three human friends, the ones that are trapped? Ha! Ah, ah. Uh, I'd like to see them even get here. That would be worth a laugh. Actually, I'd get majorly ticked off if that happened. Don't get any bright ideas. Too late. Okay, let's, let's not talk to the cheeky door. What's through here? What kind of object do you think is through here? Oh, there's a manhole cover here too. Uh, manhole is a great word to shout as a meaningless insult. True. What kind of creature do you think is going to be through this corridor, huh? I'm going to guess a giant slime beast. No, it's it's the mock mess monster. Fantastic. Let's take this hose. Give me this. You look very upset, Messi. What's wrong? Oh, jeez. I keep forgetting to use a communicator. Here we go. Good day. What do you want? Um, oh, my goodness. There's so much talking. Oh, so this guy has just completely mocked me, but he's given me this, which is... Oh, stop... Stop being mean to me, Messi. He gave me a power room access card, which is very cool indeed. So I'm going to do... Rumor's been floating that you are just a log. You know that photograph that's been blown out proportion of me? The black and white one? Yeah, it's really just a picture of a log. Okay, can I have your hat though? Uh, no. My hat is the only comfort I have. Not to mention it covers my bald spot. Awesome. <laughs> so you missed loads of text because I didn't think that this Loch Ness monster would actually give me a key card. But he said it might be mislabeled, so it might not actually be true what it does. So let's go. We've been this way. There's no one else to save. Actually, where are they keeping the alien? That's so random. I need to go to the place where I can use this card. It's not here. Oh, jeez. I think it might be B1. 
Is it this way? Is it this way? It is. Let's try and use this. Here we go. Oh, it worked. Okay, there is a power room. There's so much stuff in here. Look, there's a game on here. I would play that if there was a game controller in this room. However, sadly, there is not. Uh, what about this? Guard door power. Press button to switch guard door power on and off. Green is on, red is off. Okay, let's see what happens. It worked. It actually worked. That's amazing. Pipeline shifter. Uh, note to self, the pipeline system will not function unless the center pipe is this one. This is because we haven't called the nearest plumber. We need to buy a phone. <laughs> okay, uh, flush command. Looks like something's supposed to, we need like a lever or something and then we can fix these around, I think. Yeah, you can move these around to go to the mock mess lake or the trash chute. Interesting. Uh, what else have we got? A screen for a sphere, a weird Y thing, and an error screen. Screen. Okay, so at least we found a flush thing and what else did we find? We found the guard door power. Let's go back there Let's see what this says then now it's off the doors power is off, but it's not open now. That's just great. Oh fantastic Uh, Okay, so we need to convince him to open it first um, okay, right. We need to go back to the power room real quick. We definitely do. I think it might help to do this puzzle first. So we don't need to move this because it's not going to go anywhere different. Uh, we want to get it to... It already goes to the trash chute, so we need to get it to Mock Less Snake. I can't even say that properly. Mock Mess Lake. <laughs> we need to do that. And then we need to put a... Oh, what does this hose do? I completely forgot. Maybe that's needs to go here. Where should I put the start of the hose? Here. I think there's a better place to put this. Okay, no worries. Doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, wait, does that work? So that goes, oh no, that goes down there and then to there. And we need, oh, we need these two to switch around. Um, okay, let's try this. Yes! I did it. Oh my goodness, this took so long. Okay, I did it, I did it, I did it. Awesome. So, now we need to flush it, but I think we might need this. It works. <laughs> it was called the flusher handle, and it's gonna flush. I don't know what it's gonna do, so let's do it. Here we go. It's gonna flush something. I don't know. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no. A flusher. How awkward. How very awkward. <laughs> oh, she's free. Yes, be free. Look at that happy face. Oh, I'm so glad. That was awesome. Right, let's go back to there because I think we can pick up their hat. So, where were they though? Were they? Oh, no, wait, they might have been on that floor. I can't even remember. Oh, geez, where were they? They're on that floor. Ah, here we go. So, I think we can pick this up now, which is cool. And I can't remember which creature, but one of them wanted a. A fancy hat for something. I can't even remember what for. Uh, I'm not escaping the same way Messi did. He could get hit flushed because he's an aquatic dinosaur. Rapidly tumbling through miles and miles of water-filled pipes wouldn't be good for my health. You know what? That's very, very true. Now, what do I need to do next? I need to give a hat to one of the creatures. So let's go to B1 and see which creature is in here. Uh, the negotiable snowman. Oh! You know what we could use for him? Um, let's go to... Where's Smiley? Smiley! Smiley, I need to talk to you. There she is. Can I have your hairspray, please? Can I get it? There we go. Look, can I have your hairspray? Are you planning on growing hair? I guess I could use a little bit, too. Not me in real life, but, uh, good old Phil over here. Oh, no. I think being... I like being bald. I just think hairspray will help us escape. If you could hand it to me through the slot in the cell door, that could be great. Interesting. Here you go. Thank you very much. Let's get out of here. Okay, let's go and give that to the snowman. Are you the guy that likes hats? I can't even remember. Actually, you're like a, a tally-ho chimp chap. You might want this. Do you want this? Does this hat fit your tastes? It's a nice hat, but only that. I find it not to be a fancy enough hat to wear. The hat needs to be fancier to tickle your fancy. Got it. Okay, we need to make that fancier somehow. I don't know how, but we're gonna try, right? Let's go to... I think it's basement two. Is basement two the one with the Yeti? No, nope, that's messy. We need to go to B1. I think that's where the Yeti is. Come on, Yeti. There we go. Do you want this? There you go. Oh, oh, he likes it. He likes it. Here we go. He's gonna look. Yeah, like a snowman. That's not exactly what I thought was gonna happen, but hey, that's fine. He gave us the dice that we needed for something. Why would we need a dice, though? Can we mix, like, these two, maybe? No, we definitely can't. Hey, Yeti, how you doing? You look so cute now. Are you enjoying having hair? Hair is the single greatest thing that's ever happened to the universe. I'll take that as a yes. Oh, he's so cute. Right, uh, what do we do now? I'm actually lost. Uh, a dice? 
We've got a hat. We've got a hose. What can we use the hose for? Oh, oh, can we put the hose on this? Can we put the hose on this? Where should I put the start of the hose? Let's put it here. That seems like a good spot, but where should the spout end go? Um... Is this the pipe that goes to the sheep? Goat man thing? I think it is. Let's try it. Boom. Here we go. Chlorophyll going in. Be prepared to turn green, Mr. Goat man. Here we go. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's actually going to work. Oh, I thought I was going to drown him. Oh, that's perfect. We're making everyone so happy. Hey, Goat man. How are you doing? Look how happy he looks. Hey, Goat guy. Om nom nom. Delicious green grass. Oh, yes. I'm going to leave you alone now. <laughs> oh, can we grab one of these? This daisy might be useful. I should go over there and pick it. Put one foot on this green grass and you'll feel a wrap of a thousand rams. Okay, never mind. Don't worry. Can I grab this one? Okay, I can. Uh, why can I grab this one? This is the only flower I can stop and smell without stepping on the precious grass. Oh, let's go and take this to Zach. Zach! Zach, I'm gonna save you. I'm gonna save you. Here he is. Now, I should be able to use this on Zach and he should sneeze. Sneeze in your fireball. Do it. Ah! Ah, ah, yes, it worked. Oh, he fell. I hope he didn't hurt himself. <laughs> I have mixed feelings about the escape. You're welcome. Oh, hey, would you mind following me for a while? Well, I would mind, but you're smart. So I'm sure there's a significant purpose to having me follow you. Great, glad you agree, but I'm afraid you can't enter any rooms with smoke detectors. I'll be content as long as I get to burn something. Okay, that's fine. Um, oh, do we have Zach in our inventory now? That's awesome. <laughs> And that seems like a really good place to end this part of Riddle School. But do not worry, the finale, the conclusion of Riddle School as a whole will be up exactly the same time as this video. So go ahead and go and watch it right now in the description below. But first, make sure you leave a thumbs up on this part if you did enjoy it. And if this happens to be the first video you've seen by me, then please do consider subscribing to join team TDM today for daily gameplay videos. Now, what are you waiting for? Go ahead, click in the description below and go to the next video to find out what on earth happens in Riddle School Transfer because I really want to know. <laughs> See you in a bit, guys. Bye!